The power of caps. Crime rates go down. The quality of life goes up. I'm Peter Carl, and this is Chicago Crime Watch. Chicago police in the 23rd District are reaching out to young members of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community. The goal is to provide LGBT youth with constructive social options. Serving! Every Thursday afternoon, Robert Dibbles practices his serve along with other LGBT youth at the center on Halstead. They're teaming up with police officers in a volleyball league. Before we played sports with the youth in our district, um, volleyball, um, basketball, but it's always been a youth team against the police officers team. So what we did is this time we're switching it up and we're practicing to join a league where it was a, a couple teams made up of both youth and officers so that we're working together instead of against each other. The volleyball program started after police received complaints from the community about kids hanging out on North Halstead Street the center of the gay community. Many of the young people are homeless with nothing to do. A lot of these LGBT kids feel safe here. They feel like they can come here and be on the street and nobody's gonna make fun of them or hurt them or anything like that. So they're, they're just trying to be here. But unfortunately, it's also an area that was, um, there were a lot of bars and stuff that were the foundations. And so they're not old enough to drink, but they still wanna be part of the scene and part of the place where they feel safe. One problem Commander Bomer is trying to address is the image of police officers. Many LGBT kids say the only contact they've had with police has been negative. There were some issues that some of the kids didn't have a good relationship with the police. They didn't have a good image of the police. They've been a little wary in the past, so we wanted to make sure that they knew that the police station was a safe haven and the police officers are their friends. 20-year-old Kevin McManus is one of the young adults on the volleyball team. I like this program a lot because it gives me a chance as well as my peers a chance to um, basically connect with the police here in 23rd District, show, show us that, you know, this is us, this is what we want to do. We want to reach out to you guys as well as you guys want to reach out to us and this is how we're going to do it. I think, and I think it's a wonderful idea. We learn how to talk to each other, especially with a sport like volleyball. You know, the whole concept is three hits on one side and then the ball goes over. So you learn to communicate with each other. You learn how to depend on each other to get the ball. You learn how to, to support each other. Well, you know what, it, was, it didn't go over the net, but it was a great hit anyway. Um, it just helps build relationships between us. They play in the league. Everyone, police and youth, must play by the same rules. Everyone must make a commitment to show up weekly, unless they're in school or at work. No one can miss a practice just because they don't feel like playing that day. To show their commitment, 23rd District Police will give kids gym shoes after they meet the requirement. If they come a commitment of three weeks in a row, on their fourth week, we will give them gym shoes to play because a lot of the kids play in their bare feet because they don't have gym shoes. Um, or they only have one pair of shoes and they're pretty beat up and they don't want to risk breaking them more playing volleyball. Robert Dibbles, who is homeless, spends his nights sleeping at the lakefront at a church or on a train. He says playing volleyball with police helps him a lot. The volleyball is my favorite sport and the police have helped me in, in many ways. They got me gym shoes when I needed it. It was, it, I mean, they are really assisting us and really showing, leading by example. I had like a mixed response with police officers, but me and um, like Officer Rios and like everyone else, it's been like, you know, a good experience for me to like, you know, reevaluate like, you know, my outlook on like police officers in general. The program started two months ago with three participants. Now at least 15 to 20 kids show up each week on a regular basis. An average of 8 to 10 police officers also participate. The officers that are playing with us are not all LGBT. We have straight officers who feel that it's important for officers to connect with kids, whether they're straight kids or whether they're LGBT kids, that we need to connect with the community that we're going to serve. I'm fairly new to 23 and I'm getting to know um, some of the kids in the neighborhood. Uh, some of the kids have you know, different issues and things like that. And hopefully it will be encouraging for them to come to us if they have any problems or anything like that. Commander Bomer and the officers say spending time on the volleyball court with the LGBT youth so far has been a positive first step in solving problems in the community. 
what we're hoping is to develop the relationships with the kids. We also want, uh, there have been some community members who have shown an interest and maybe some of them will start to play eventually uh, to, to get the point, uh, just the point that we could bring the kids in to a meeting and talk with the community. I think what we're looking at is just something to make, ev make everybody on Halstead Street feel safer and everybody in this community feel safe. If you want more information about the LGBT youth programs, you can contact the Center on Halstead or the 23rd Police District. That's it from the Crime Watch News Team. I'm Peter Carl. Thank you for watching.